three-person free-for-all MMA. Look at this. It's 1v1v1. Look at that. Crazy. A lot of attempts at deception, right? Nope, don't engage too much. Don't get tunnel vision, right? See, oh, oh, wouldn't it make sense to make a temporary alliance against someone? Like, just be like, hey, let's two on one him. Look at this. There's a lot of leg kicks going on, right? Look at this. So, yeah, that guy almost got hit in the back of the head. If that were a real fight, that would not have been good. So, lots of like, okay, attempt at a tornado kick here. Uh-oh. Interesting. He's letting them engage first. Interesting. He's just like, I'll let them waste their money. Look at that. The ref's like, are you going to do anything? He's like, nope. Oh, he's punching the guy on top and the bottom. Oh, man. I would have just let them fight it out, man. I guess maybe the ref will tell you that's not allowed or something. If I were the ref, I would say, look, um, you should. You're okay, right? That's strategic to let the guys fight it out. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, all right. Let's see what the third guy's going to do. The third guy's look at that. The ref's like, why aren't you doing anything? The ref's like forcing them to fight each other. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit unhappy with the ref thing. Like, why not? It's strategic to to let them one on one it while you just kind of stand around. There's nothing wrong with that. So he actually did a uh, leg kick. So great replays by. I don't know if they're the co-host of this, but nice sidekick. You got to really rely on your peripheral vision in this one. See? Ooh, that could have turned out bad. The guy was attacking the other guy while the other guy was attacking him. It's so different when it's MMA, man. We've seen Sando. I think Sando was kickboxing, right? This is... If you guys haven't seen that, I'll have to show you guys. Uh, you guys got to follow the cards. Oh, spinning backfist. Yeah, spinning backfist could be your secret weapon. The camera swishing around kind of makes it a little hard because it's three people. So it's hard to see who's left right when you switch to the other side, if that makes sense. So, oh my God, um, he's a famous, the guy with the red hair, that guy, that's a famous MMA fighter. He's a famous, he, Chilala fought him, if you guys remember. So who are they going to give it to? They gave it to that guy. So right there, right? The guy who ate the head kick, I think was given the win. Why is that? Right? This is the guy in the middle. He's the guy that ate the head kick, right? But he was given... The guy who kicked him in the head's the guy with the bowl cut on the left. So, guys, let me know what you think about this format. I'm just a little bit unhappy with the ref urging the third guy to jump in there, right? It's strategic to let the two people scrap it out. You want to make it a 1v1v1, right? So, it is in the ref's incentive to make it interesting. Because if it's just one guy waiting it out for the other two to scrap, then maybe it's not what the audience signed up for. So, for the commercial viability of this type of match in the future, you're going to have to encourage slightly more dangerous behavior. But still, it would be strategic to just sit it out, especially if they're tangled on the ground, right? Just let them hit each other for a little bit. And then I go up and I decide who to hit or whatever. So anyways, guys, make sure to follow Fist of Faith. I've been covering them for, I think, a year now. It's been pretty cool. They also have a 2v2 MMA match that I'm going to cover soon. So go tell them if I commentary breakdown sent you. All right, guys, talk to you soon.